Monica and welcome to WetMac, the Wetland Monitoring and Assessment Kit. This kit's been designed with community users in mind and this video supports Module 6, Vegetation Plots. This is a summer activity. Remeasuring your plot every five years will give you a better understanding of how the vegetation in your wetland restoration site is changing. This is an advanced module. You'll need to know your plants. Find a buddy to give you a hand with your restoration plot. You'll need someone to discuss results with, and besides, it's faster and safer. Hi, I'm Mel and I'm helping out today. Decide how many plots to set up, where to put them, and how big they need to be. Include all of this information on your wetland monitoring mini plan. If you need help, then get advice from a wetland ecologist, DOC, or regional council staff. If you have a smartphone and coverage on site, you can download the data sheets from the WetMac website and fill them in that way. Once you're at your plot, Use a compass to find the corners. A compass is more reliable than a GPS. Today we're setting up a 5 by 5 metre plot. Give your plot a unique name or number and mark the post closest to the track. Record your plot coordinates on your GPS using the NZTM format. You might also want to mark a tree or fence post nearby with the distance and direction to the plot. Now for the technical part. List all plant species, natives and exotics. Put a star next to the exotics and give code names to the ones you don't know. Take a sample. Remember to include plants that are hanging into the plot like this one. Add height data. That's the foliage and not the flowering parts. Include the maximum height and average height for each plant species. Add which of the three tiers you see foliage or green stems in. The top tier is taller than 2 metres, the mid tier is 30 centimetres up to 2 metres and the ground tier is below 30 centimetres. Estimating percent cover can be a little tricky, don't despair. There are lots of useful tips in the WetMac Vegetation Plot module. Calculate percent cover one species at a time. Start with the most abundant species. Because it's a 5 by 5 metre plot, we know that 1% is 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres. You're nearly done. Finish filling in the data sheet and add any extra information you think might be useful for the next time you measure the plot. Photograph the plot from each corner, photograph the data sheet as a backup, or if you've filled in the data sheet using a smartphone, email it to yourself as a backup. The data we've collected today tells us a lot about this site. We now have a snapshot of the plants that are here, whether they're mature or just seedlings. We also have an indication of what plant species are the most abundant if they're native or exotic. Next time round, in five or so years time, we'll revisit the plot, do the same measures to see how the ongoing restoration here at Rotopiko is progressing. <laughs>